All right, all right, we're gonna install this very custom double, double linear rail um, X beam thing on this Voron 0.1 slash 0.2 kind of. Um, I've custom designed and printed these, these two sort of all in one XY joint and beam thingies that also uh, I should have shown you before. Here's, here's sort of a previous iteration of it. They, they have these slots on the top where you can put nuts in and, and then we can screw these linear rails on there. Um, yeah, let's let, oh, and I've custom, I've custom made, um, this, this, um, X carriage, which it, uh, attaches to the two linear rail carriage things and also has the special bit down the bottom to make contact with the um the the hot end the the cool the cool fin bit of the hot end so that so that it has some extra sort of um sturdiness i guess um let's put it together and see what happens next okay that's looking pretty good i've got that all screwed on to both rails whole motion system seems to be going pretty smoothly um, it was a good idea to only tighten the rails screws after fastening the carriage onto its two sort of rail carriages um, I've only put a couple of a total of four screws into each carriage and not tightened them very much we'll see how that goes um, some people are probably thinking there's no way this is going to be strong enough. It's all just a, a plastic beam. You may well be right. Uh, I just wanted to make it for some reason. Um, I was I was struggling with sort of flexibility of the print head and everything, and I uh, I thought that making making all of this out of one solid piece of plastic would be a good way to go. But we'll see. So far, seems pretty good. I can't really can't can't really feel any play in that. So that's a good start. Let's put the tool head on and see how it feels then. Hopefully you spotted the problem before me. I had forgotten to put the belts through the carriage. So I've done that now as well as pulling the tool head back on. Uh, that was really difficult, um, especially because of the shape of the new X carriage. Um, didn't really allow for sort of twisting to get the belts inside to take the front idlers off. Uh, it was a real pain. Anyway, I've got the whole thing on now. Um, uh, another slight, slight mistake that I made. Um, I thought I was getting everything just right, but it just hits the back there by like a millimeter. So next iteration, I'll chop that off. But for now, this should be this should be good enough for everything I need to print for now. Um, let's turn it around and have a proper look. Well, that is really good. There is some play, of course, but nothing like there was before. I should have taken a video before to really compare, but previously, due to just the 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 uh, carriage on the rail, the actual metal carriage on the linear rail, it would sort of uh, it wouldn't just sort of flex to and fro. It would actually sort of jerk to and fro as I it would sort of go click click. Um, side to side as well. There's none of that now. Um, I can still make it twist a little bit and flex a little bit if I push it. Um, some of that seems to be coming from the plastic rail itself. Um, that's probably the weak point now, I suppose. Uh, for instance, if you look at the reflections on the metal rail just there as I flex the part, you can kind of, kind of see that they are moving a little bit too. Let's try and get that a bit better. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. So I think that is a success. And while we're here, I've got the side panels back on. I may as well show you these lovely glass side panels. That one there's just got a little bit of a crack because it's just two millimeter glass, which is all I could conveniently find. I've had these on for almost a couple of years now. Uh, I clean them once in a while. I cleaned them last weekend. So they're reasonably clean. And 
now while testing resonances, I'll show you a couple of other features of my Voron 0.1 slash 0.2. These light LED mounts, um, which I need to share the files for as well. Each one has six, six, six white LEDs and they just screw in the bottom there of that beam. Um, the top hat also has glass in it, that slightly thicker 4mm glass because that's what I could find and it seemed it needed to be a bit stronger since I was pulling it on and off all the time. And here we have it, the Voron 0.1 slash 0.2 printing with two X rails, two linear rails on the X axis. And completely printed X beam and side bits, or one each side. Now you can see the effect of those LEDs under there, just illuminating the print bed and not too much more.